now we're ready for page one. Woohoo! Right. When you've made your pages up, make sure you've labelled them. Page one with an arrow pointing up, page two with an arrow pointing up, so you always know your pages are facing the right way up. So it's very easy to stick a page upside down. We're going to start with page one, and this is page one. It has a photo slot in the front, it has a little lift out flap and then it's got a little vertical pocket there and an invisible tuck spot there. So that's our first page we're going to do. So here's our here's our base page and these are always called your base pages and then our flap is going to fit on there. So I've already cut that, I've got my double sided tape on there and I'm just going to line that up. Sam could you just pass me a piece of um, blank copy paper please? My able assistant as Kay has disappeared. Disabled assistant. I'm doing important <laughs> admin stuff. And she's doing a very important job she says. Okay right so we're going to line this up now. Sometimes when it's hard to line black on black it's easier if you have a white or a light surface behind so you can see for lining things up but there's also another easier way to do this she says let's see if it will work with this because it's a pocket page so put that there um, yeah okay so that's your page one the flaps going on the end so butt up the end like that and then fold it over and then fold it over and that is much easier to do that okay so burnish that in there so that's there like that. So then the next thing you need to do is stick your magnet. So here I have some mag bulbs already cut out. I'll just get them. Ooh! That's right, I've just had a, an insect join me. <laughs> it's gone now. So it's one of the mag pops. So what we're going to do is just find a magnet. Oh, I thought I was all ready, Kay. Oh, here they are. I've got my magnets now, but I couldn't find them, but they're here. Okay. So we use neodymium magnets and we have different sizes available. Okay, so pop that one on there. Pop that on there. And give it a good burnish. These are actually cut from the waste architect. Okay, and then take another one. Take the backing off there. Okay, sticky side up. And then let the magnet pop on there like that. And then close it down. Burnish like that. Okay, so that's your flap closing like that. Just make sure you put it nice and straight so it's not overlapping on the page. That's it. Okay, so that opens like that. So the next thing you're going to do, that's your flap there. So we can decorate the base page here, and you need to cut. A slot because that's going to be a tuck spot there with your um, straight pierce pocket slots. This is from set from set one. Okay, so I've already die cut that out, and then I'm going to stick this down. But what I would say is right because this is a pocket, you don't want glue down here, otherwise you can't tuck things in. So you want glue just along the edge there. And then along here, you can go all the way along to the edge there. Run that along there. And then pop that there. So that fits on there. Like that. Okay, so just burnish that in. Now, if you look at this one, and you take the when you take the tag out you can't see where the cut is okay so you can either choose to leave it like this so you can see easily 
where the tuck spot is or you simply take the waste and you go back in you really don't want very much glue because you don't want the um, you don't want the tuck spot to be closed so just pop a little bit of glue there and there line it back up pop the waste in so make sure you've lined it up properly Maggie that's it so it matches the pattern and then you can burnish that in okay so that's like an invisible slot then just gently tip the tip the paper and then that fits in there like that so then we're going to pop our next piece on which is going to be our little horizontal pocket you can flip the sides if you want do whichever you prefer so that's, oh no take that off that's something I've forgotten to stick okay this is your little tabs for opening your pages this is one of our dumbbells okay and I've got little decorative sides on and I'm just going to stick them fold them in half and stick together like that Okay, so that's giving me a little tab. Now, that length is four inches. So I folded it in half. So that's my trusty uh, half, halfway mark for my pages. So I can pop that on there like that. And then I'm going to stick this one onto here. I'm going to use double-sided tape and what I might do is actually put a little bit underneath first just for extra adhesion so pop that one there burnish it because these are going to get quite a lot of welly okay and then look for where your mark is which is there okay and then pop another piece of tape over the top nice and firm there. Now you can stick your bit onto your page. That's the right way. I don't think there is a right and wrong way with the orange one but you never know. So that's on there. And then you're going to take your vertical pocket. Right, so this is going to stick on just on top of the matting card. What's going on there? Like that. And then that's going to be your pocket there and you will see that the pattern matches which is something I like to do so give that a little very gentle stretch really doesn't need very much and again because this is a pocket you're going to put glue along here along here along here okay so when you stick this make sure you're not sticking into the hinge of the flap so it can move easily, which it can. Okay, that's perfect. So that's the inside done. And then the outside, I'm going to cut with a photo slot. So I can use this to store a photo. So we'll take that out. Okay, and then we've also got a photo mat that we've made. That that black card is cut out with the extra bit from the photo slot set. This is photo slot set one. So we're going to what I'm going to do is actually pop this in here in the photo slots that are already cut. So it will fit on here like that okay like that 
and then I'm going to stick that. Let's just take that one out and re-stick it back in again. That's it. And then I'm going to stick this onto here. So you don't want to put any glue where the black card is because that's where your photos will go. So just go around the edge there. Oops. And then in the middle. And then stick that on there. Like that. Burn it well. Oh, I've gone a bit mad with the glue today. Just move up a smidge. That's it. So that is page one completed. <laughs>